Hello and welcome to this feature interview. I'm Emily Carrier. Emory & Henry students have access to more than 150 study abroad programs in more than 70 countries. Our peers are studying all over the world as we speak. The college has developed connections with programs in Europe, Asia, Central and South America, Australia, New Zealand. Studies, students are immersed in foreign culture, customs, language, gaining invaluable experiences for periods of time ranging from a week to a summer to an entire semester. While international travel can be expensive, Emory & Henry offers several thousand dollars worth of scholarships to students who wish to study abroad. Qualifications for each range from a first-generation Appalachian student to a person of any major who shows an interest in studying art. To explain her exciting travel experiences firsthand and the growing Emory Abroad Department, I've invited Tamison Swope to the Allen set today. Tamison, thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Well, to start off with, tell us a little bit about where have you been abroad? Well, I had never been abroad until I came to Emory and Henry. And my freshman year, I joined the band and Lord and behold, we got blessed with this opportunity to go to China for two weeks, where we did a concert tour with the concert choir as well. And that was a trip and a half. And then my sophomore year, um, we went on a new program uh, that Dr. Lane and Dr. Jack Wells established to go to Greece. And we mainly stayed in Athens and then w went from there. But the biggest study abroad that I've had was last year for the entirety of the academic school year. Um, I studied abroad at the University of Nottingham in Nottinghamshire, England. And it was probably the best experience I've ever had. <laughs> so coming into college, you had never left the country, correct? Correct. And last year, you decided you wanted sp to spend an entire year abroad in England, <laughs> right? How did you come to that decision? Well. It was a brand new program. It's actually one of two exchange programs that Emory & Henry now offers. And what an exchange program is, is essentially um, Emory & Henry, uh, Emory & Henry, we will have, you will pay tuition here, and then you will go to one of the other schools, such as Exeter University or Nottingham, and you will pay housing there or a meal plan there, and you'll take classes there, and those classes will transfer back. And so all you're doing is paying tuition at Emory, but then you're going abroad and still getting credit for those classes. Um, and since it was such a new program, I actually didn't have to do a lot of the steps that students who now have to apply have to go through. Um, but it was still really interesting because I was kind of a guinea pig in a sense. I, um, I had to figure out how to get a visa, what kind of visa I want, needed or wanted which if you go over six months, you'll need a tier four, which allows you to work while you're abroad. Um, and then on top of that, I just had to figure out other things, like how to actually register for classes, not only there, but also back in the United States when I came back for this year. And uh, I guess the main thing for me when I came to deciding whether I wanted to go for a semester or a year, kind of just comes down to who I am. I'm usually an all or nothing kind of person. If, if I can't go for the full time, then why waste my time for a semester? So that was my personal choice, but other people have their other preferences too. Well, it sounds like you definitely went for the all decision. <laughs> Before you left for England, what were some of your biggest fears and what were you most excited about? My biggest fear was Having to adjust to a whole entire new educational system at a school with several thousand more students than here. Um, and also personal relationships. Right before I went, I got engaged to Easton. And so I was worried that we might not be able to be in contact as much and lose relationship stuff there. Um, but the thing I was most excited about probably was just getting the opportunity to even go to another place to learn a different way and to see how different cultures um, and different university systems actually work 
and how I can take those and apply them somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned you just got engaged before you left. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Were you completely on your own in England? Did you know anyone going in? And did you get to see your family or your fiance any time during that year? I actually had no one in England specifically. Um, however, Olivia Bailey and Victoria Bauer were studying abroad in Ireland and Caitlin McNabney was currently studying abroad in France. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get to meet up. Uh, but I also had a friend, had I gone to Exeter University, I probably would have had classes with him. And we met at a different college, fair, institution several years ago. But we did actually end up meeting when I did a lot more traveling around in April. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> all right. Well, I wanna talk about the study abroad program at Emory mm -hmm. & Henry. Um, how have you seen that develop in your time here? You're a senior now. How has that changed in your time at Emory & Henry? Well, I definitely think it's a lot better advertised than it was before. And especially with the new exchange programs with Exeter and Nottingham, uh, it really helps draw attention and draw drive to actually go abroad. Mm -hmm. And it also provides a different way to get there. Also, I've noticed that more uh, departments are offering opportunities to go abroad and offering more programs for that and I think it's really neat how we incorporate that into the academics as well because you have to take a certain amount of classes or certain prereqs in order to actually qualify to go to those classes and then on top of that there are several scholarships that you can get to go abroad such as um, the one that Mary Grace Hinkins got to do when she got to go to, to Cambridge this past summer. So there, there are many opportunities to do it and I think it's amazing that there have been an increased number of programs as well as an increased uh, awareness that students might not be able to financially av uh, afford it so they'll find a way to get you there. Mm -hmm. Well Tamison, we appreciate you sharing your story with us and uh, so many opportunities at Emory and Henry and abroad. So, this has been your EHC TV feature interview with Tamison Swope. I'm Emily Carrier.